Hello everyone, welcome back to the very, very ghostly woods. Now we have... three paths that we can take here. Let's go with the right one. Hopefully it's the right one. Oh! Ah, oh, go away, go away! Ah! Ah, that's unfortunate. You have failed! You have failed. Really? Failed to do what? To live? I suppose so. Failed to do a lot of things there. We failed to destroy the ghost with a crucifix. Oh uh, well, let's destroy it with bullets instead. I'm sure it'll... Yeah. This game is a bit weird. Anyway, how many bullets do we have? 47 times 6. That's not bad. Might want to reload, though. Okay, ghost, come out now. Great. Okay, another branch. <laughs> ah, sorry, pun not intended. Okay, now that's what we need. A stick. Looks like an ambush. Oh, almost got me, you did. Almost. What's all that running? Hmm. What are these rocks? Yeah, they're probably just rocks. There's uh, someone or something over there, and they're glowing. Or at least something's glowing. Hey there. Can't uh, can't put our laser sight on him. You are uh, feeling ethereal. Get him. That might be the correct reaction, I suppose. Oi! A two of you blind? He went that way! Ah, oh, these people. What are we doing? Hmm. Hopefully, we won't have to worry about ammo. It doesn't seem like we'll have to. But, could be wrong. Was this the only one? Two group of bullets. Oh! A dog! A dog got one of them. Hmm. Uh, a, a drumstick. Of course. Yes, that's what you need in this game. More depth. Something's up there, but I don't know what it is. Can we see it from here? Ah, it's a man! <laughs> and now a dead man. Oh boy. The ghosts of these dead men are coming back to haunt you, aren't they, Lazarus? Uh, oh, that's why there are so many ghosts around. Ah. <laughs> that guy was really strong. What's with you? Yeah, you had a stick figure, but... Hmm... Uh, well, maybe he knew something or other. Another one up here. Oh! Let them eat each other. For a moment. These ones are taking quite a few bullets, aren't they? Ah. 
What is it with them taking a lot of bullets? I'm not finished here yet. <laughs> he wasn't finished here yet either. What is it with these people taking a lot more bullets up close? Okay, more bullets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we won't have to worry about bullets, at least in these segments. I can still hear something out there. Yeah, three more bullets. That should be enough for anything. Except another one of those tough guys. Hmm. Okay. And do you have... Ah, another twine stick figure? Good. Need more of those than we do of bullets at the moment. Nothing over there, it seems. And we're back where we began. Let's go up here this time. Oh. I think we have to kill all of the enemies in this area to be able to move on. Yeah, we have to hunt them down. Something like that. We already went here. Hmm. Did we actually... Oh. Oh. Sorry there, man. If I had known, I would have not shot you. At least as much. There he goes! I see him! Over here, Lieutenant! Ah. So you were trying to... Don't let it him. get me! It's going to kill us all! These damn woods are alive! Ah! You must stop her. See the unseen. Don't let her drain the blood. The sticks are the key to your sight. Stop her! I... What the hell was that, Lieutenant? What was that voice? She was talking to you, Lieutenant. What the hell was that all about? How can you tell? Shut up! All of you! You go to hell, Newhouse. That wasn't anything natural, and it was talking to the lieutenant here. What the hell was that? I told you to shut up! Lieutenant? What the hell was that, sir? <laughs> Good to see that you're not shutting up. Ah, oh, boy, I need my life. Thank you. Uh, okay then. Well, we're fighting the hag. That can't be good. And our bullets are not doing that much to her. Maybe this will. Let's see. Necklace fades and your crossbow comes down. Aha! So, now... Ha! How's that? Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think there's a whole horde of those ghosts. Or at least two of them. Nah, away with ye. Wait, naturally. Need to use this again. Excellent. Get a few more bullets. Excuse me while I reload. One more, come on. Excellent! You all right there? Hmm. Well, did the hag have anything useful? No, I wouldn't have thought so. Oh, this is weird. So, one of the reasons why this game is weaker than the others is that it's so linear compared. It does have some cool effects, though. Hurry, Lazarus! Hurry! Ooh. Oh, I don't teleport. That's only for laggers. Careful! Don't fall now! You fall! You, you fell! 
You're terrible listening too. Why is everyone in this game terrible at something? All right. Let's rest here for a minute. October 24th, 1863. Dearest Anne, the strangest and most frightening thing has happened since my last entry. We encountered a group of rebel sappers attempting to tear up a section of rail outside of Burkittsville, and we were forced to dispatch them. We saw another of them running into the woods and gave chase, but upon entering the wood, all became chaos as my men scattered to the four winds. We eventually came upon a wild-eyed rebel and were confronted with something I cannot begin to describe. Wild-eyed? It was as if the hand of pure evil came upon the man and spoke to us in a most frightening voice with a warning directed at me. It spoke of a girl and entreated me to stop her from doing something most dire. The man then fell to the earth, dead on the spot. My men were shocked by the experience and I confess myself that I have no idea what to make of it. What are you writing there, Lieutenant? Writing a book, sir? <laughs> this is a journal I'm writing to my fiancé back home. I'm not very good at writing letters, so I collect my thoughts here, and when the book is full, I'll send it off to her. What's your name? Your fiancé, I mean. Anne. Anne Forrester. That's a pretty name. I bet she's beautiful. The most beautiful woman in the whole state of New York. Sir, I have to ask. What the hell do you think that was back there? That rebel, he, he seemed like he was under the control of the devil himself. And that voice. These woods are alive, that's why. Can't you feel it? Ah, nonsense. That rebel was just crazy from fever. What's the matter, couldn't you see it? Mm. The locals told me stories about this place. About it being a place of evil. And now I know they were right. What was that? It came from across the creek. I'll check it out. Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. That was a nasty trick, Hand. We'll be looking out for you. And as for New House, the fall isn't that isn't that uh, big, and well, the river may be very wavy, but it doesn't seem like there are rapid streams or anything. I guess he just took flight and decided to. Uh, Send to a higher plane. Or possibly it's just somewhere better. After all, no one wants to be in these woods. I just quick saved and it took a little while longer to load than I expected. But, okay, now we see the hands. I'll let you guys handle this. They only take one bullet. No need for. Oh boy, they respawn. Okay, you guys handle it. And I, being the uh, most important person here, shall run across. Oh, yes. I cannot abandon my men. Ah, yes, that is a fair point. We shall not abandon our men. Uh, why don't you four come over here, eh? Uh, four? <laughs> I'm sorry. Three. Uh, maybe we have to chop them to pieces? Uh, these hands really aren't okay. Really have anything? Don't suppose they're interested in a piece of meat, but uh, we we don't really have anything that we could use against them to get them gone permanently. I mean, hmm. I cannot abandon my men. They're doing fine themselves. I mean, the hands can't move or anything, can they? If they were hands that used hands to move. 
then that would be troublesome. These are not hands that use hands to move. They use nothing to move. Therefore, they cannot move at all. Hmm. Maybe we just run the other way. That would seem wise, wouldn't it, if you came across such a frightening thing? I cannot abandon my men. Men? What are you doing? Well, I mean, well, I know what you're doing, but... Maybe we have to get rid of all of them at once. I think that did it. Yeah. Let's get across the creek before it comes back. It? More like they. Also, do not... Ah, I see you're just running on the spot, Lazarus. Okay. Oh boy, it's coming back already. Does anyone see him? He's not coming back, sir. I think we better move on. I believe you're right. Let's move up the trail a bit and set up camp for the night. In the morning, we'll make our way back to town. Yes, sir. Huh. Yes, sir. Don't be so hesitant. Maybe you can take flight too, with the help of a hand. Yes, that's right. All you need is a helping hand. Okay, but what do we need right here? Well, first of all, you need to get up. That did that in an instant. Thank you very much. Can we use this cross against them at all? No, I don't think that's going to work. Okay, let me quick save. I suppose we'll just shoot them a bit and run across. Yeah, I see it stutters there for a moment. But anyway... There. Forget about you. Oh, we don't have any more stick figures. Why don't you just eat that meat? I mean, surely the meat can do more for your body than a stick figure. Well, looky here. You made it into the woods after all. I think you owe me two dollars, Tom. Shut up, Jim. Take a look at this. The Indians call these things smudge sticks. They're supposed to ward off evil spirits. Mostly, they just stink. Your stinks represent idolatry, Tom. Blasphemy, pure and simple. We should destroy them here and now. I don't like where this is going. Someone's just trying to spook us. There haven't been Indians living in these parts for almost 75 years. I think whoever took Robin must have planted them here. Why don't you keep them, Lazarus? They might come in handy if you run into any spooks. I still say it seems awful strange that this Lazarus fella showed up right when Robin disappeared. I think he's in cahoots with whoever took her. Now, Andy, you know good and well this man was wounded when Mrs. Weaver took him in. Robin disappeared while Bess was still nursing him. If it's all the same to you, I think I'll just keep looking on my own. You're as free as any of us to do what you like, stranger. Can any of you gentlemen know a man named Steuben? lives in these parts. There's nobody living in Burkittsville by that name. Are you sure? He lives out here in the woods. He's a blind immigrant. I'm telling you, no one lives out in these woods, boy. Least of all some blind foreigner. We'd know about it. Now, we want to get a few more hours of searching in before we make camp. So if you don't mind, we'll be off. I got my eye on you, stranger. I know you've got something to do with all of this. Well, be that as it may, I shall gladly take this smudge stick. Bundled herbs. Do they do anything for our health? No idea. <laughs> Could try using them right now. Let's see. Nah, nothing. Uh, what I'm mostly interested in is that stick figure right over there. 
Now, are these hands still there? Yeah, they are. Ah, forget about it then. Don't want to risk losing more health. I don't need to go that way. <laughs> you don't need to go that way because the search party is going that way. I see. Okay then. Another fade to black sequence. Oh, what memory are you going to recall next, Lazarus? Oh. Okay, this does not seem very good. It's quite purple. And why is there a constant sound of uh, tree... Oh no, not those. Not those. <laughs> oh, those things were in the first volume. Mm, let's say third here. Okay, well, hopefully they're easier. Maybe. Now, we, I think we have to shoot those middle parts there. Yes, it worked. Great. Oh! <laughs> wow, that's just like myth. Uh, that's not like myth at all. Come on, I... Oh. <laughs> How devious! Hiding... Hiding goodies behind a thin tree like that in the foreground. But yeah, that was just like myth having them, uh, having the body parts do. Oh, death, death, death! Ah, I don't like death. Okay, from 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 now on, we'll stay away from any suspicious-looking rocks. Uh oh, uh oh, the little one's coming to play. Thankfully, the little ones stay down for ever. I hope. Oh. Okay. Wait. Yep, good. Just lead them over here. Then we'll grab those bullets and be off with our lives. And a stick figure. Good. Hey, you. Fall. Oh no, there's death over there. Maybe if I move carefully... Oh! Great. Whoa! That's right, Lazarus. Run on the trees! That'll save you for sure. Running on the trees will save you from these... these sticks. Are these things anyway? I have no idea. And I have a hunch that nothing like these appeared in the film. Uh, great. Ah, more bullets. I'm glad someone is so generous to leave such mystical healing powers as well as bullets lying around. Oh. Hmm. Powers of healing and destruction. Okay, well, we're going this way. Well, we will go that way in the next part. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye-bye!